Hi, welcome back from Galaxy S4 Root.com for this week's Rumble before the Verizon Galaxy S4, which I've got here. Check out the Google Play Edition, which has been ported uh, from a GTI 9505, the international LTE version. And uh, I've got everything working flawless here. This one, I really like it because it's super fast. Also comes with a custom uh, kernel. And of course, it is based on Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Um, so you'll be able to get a KitKat there. Should be able to. There we go. And you can go ahead and play with that if you want to. Um, go find LimePy. All right, anyway, um, it does have K KTweaker, Ktoon says kernel, uh, which makes it super fast. As far as getting your data working, I was only able to get 3G working. Um, to fix this, you usually can go to mobile networks and uh, you can switch this back to LT slash CDMA uh, or all of these, uh, but it wasn't working. So what I just did, a simple fix for this, uh, if you can't get 4G LT working, just go to your dialer, type star pound, star pound, 4636 pound, star pound, star. This will bring you up phone information menu, go to phone information, uh, and then go ahead and go here and set this manually to LT GSM CDMA auto. Um, this will also allow you to use uh, non-Verizon SIM cards such as AT&T, uh, T-Mobile um, to use it on another network or maybe if you're traveling outside the US. Uh, once you set that, turn off radio, uh, wait five seconds, turn it back on, and you should be on LTE. So that's how I figure the, uh, the network out. As far as really tweaking the speed on this ROM, I mean, it is so fast without even overclocking. Uh, but if you're a hardcore gamer and you want to get some uh, little bit oomph out of it, go to KTweaker app uh, and uh, go ahead and you can go to CPU here. I recommend at, at max 2.106 gigahertz. I find that the maximum, um, you know, if you go a little bit higher, it's going to get a little bit unstable. And also you can, oh, you got to make sure you hit enable OC steps and check that to 2106, 2.106 gigahertz. And also you can overclock uh, the GPU like I did here, go to 600, um, that's my recommended, uh, and uh, you'll get higher scores on Quadrant over 12,000 easy. Uh, also, you'll notice the difference um, when you're playing games. Also, if you want to get great battery life um, while overclocked, go to voltage. And what I did here, um, these are actually usually over 1300 millivolts, millivolts. Uh, I set these near 1250 uh, from like two, two gigahertz and up, I set it near 1250 mega, uh, millivolts. It doesn't matter to be exact, I just pull it down a little bit. And that will keep your phone from getting too hot while being able to over overclock. And uh, those are pretty optimal, so it should work for most of you guys. And you can also do the same thing with GPU. Um, go to voltage here and set the high a little bit slightly lower and it should run still fine. Um, so you just have to tweak it, uh, just kind of undervolt as much as you can, um, you know, while trying to overclock a lot. And that'll give you a, a ton of speed while not losing any battery life. Um, so it is super fast. And uh, let me just show you some of the, oops, browsing speeds here. And let's just open up a new tab here and just go to site and gadget. And there we go. And let's go ahead and switch between some of the apps, settings. Um, I mean, it is just super fast, just as you can see here. Uh, even without any overclocking, you probably have no problems with it. Uh, but overall, I really like it. Uh, of course, there's not enough customization on it. For that, you'll have to go with AOSP ROM, which I will feature also soon. Um, but uh, this one looks pretty tight. I really like how uh, K Tweaker kernel is there. Uh, of course, it is also a kernel you can install on other TouchWiz AOSP ROMs. Uh, for that, go ahead and check XDA. Um, you can go ahead and install kernels right over it. But it is super fast, love it. If you want pure Google experience uh, without all the additives um, and also speed of K-Tweaker, definitely check this one out. And also camera working flawless. You get the AOSP camera uh, with everything working, uh, photosphere, uh, video, all that good stuff. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's Round of the Week. And do let me know what you think. And it does come with Nova Launcher. Um, so just as you know. And uh, I think that's about it. Um, so uh, yeah, check it out. And do let me know what you think. This is for Verizon Galaxy S4. 
Um, and uh, I will see you guys soon. Uh, if you have a Galaxy S4, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS4root.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.